peace love and light to you leo welcome to my channel i'm butterfly tarot and is that a butterfly and i'm here to give you your september 2020 uh reading for my leo singles in love <clears throat> i'm sorry remember this is the general reading so that means that um some things may resonate while other things may not. This may be a cross watchers reading and not yours, or very well may not be your reading at all. If you're new to my channel, you like the content on my channel, like, comment, share, subscribe to you there. Hit that notification bell so you'll get updates when I arrive low new material. And if you are returning, you know what I always say. Thank you. <clears throat> you're the reasons why I continue to do what I do. For for those who are subscribed and non subscribers, hey, I'm here for you. So we're going to get on into this reading. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Get clear my throat on, on the mic. Bottom of the deck, two pentacles in reverse, letting something go, something was unbalanced, dropping something, okay? <clears throat> now, this is a general reading. I'm doing the card to card spread, and I'm going to be doing it from the uh, viewpoint of the person that you were thinking of or possibly dealing with, or, you know, we're just going to see where this goes, okay? Uh, so, first card out, that was a flipper, a popper, is the five of cups in reverse. Five of cups is talking about reconciling. We're letting bygones be bygones. Either we're going to fix this or we're going to leave it go. We're going to let it be. Okay? <clears throat> Crossing energies, the two of wands in the reverse. So it's saying that that uh, you've experienced uh, some sort of conflict about making a decision. Trying to figure out which way to go. And, and not knowing that if you are, you or the person you're dealing with, sorry. If you are the person you're dealing with, if you got, uh, if you have made the right decision, you know, it's like, um, like you're making a decision, but you don't know if it's the right decision. You know, with the, the two of wands, it's talking about, uh, choosing between the world that you know and the world that you don't know. And you're standing at, at, uh, at these two pathways. This one has the birds. That one has the looks like thunder clouds. I don't I don't know what that is, you know. But it's two different paths that you're trying to choose. But you've made a choice. But at the same time, it's saying that you don't know if you made the right choice, or they do not know if they made the right choice. So what is the <clears throat> underlying issue? The underlying factors or unconscious thoughts concerning the situation. Three cups. Okay. So it's saying that, all right, somebody wants to reconcile with you, my dear Leos, that uh, they're trying, they're they're like at odds with themselves. They, they want to know if they have made the proper choice, you know. So with the five of cups in the reverse, it's not talking about letting something go. It's talking about this person is in their thoughts and they have made a choice that they would like to reunite with you. But at the same time, it's saying that they are kind of a little bit conflicted because they want to make sure that they are making the right choice so that they don't know if they're making the right choice. So somebody that you used to deal with, obviously, <clears throat> because of this energy, um, somebody you used to deal with is uh, has decided that they would like to return into your life, okay? But they don't know if they are making the right decision, okay? And it could be that this person has two people to choose from, which is two ones and this three cups here as well, okay? They, they probably had to make a choice between two people and decided to let one go because we did have the two of pentacles as the overall energy, which talks about leaving something go, letting something go that you're no longer juggling. And with this energy, it's saying that possibly, most likely, there was a third party situation and this person decided to drop the other person for you, okay? So that they can return to you, but they're not sure if they made the right choice, okay? So what is the past energy for my dear Leos? 
the king of swords had overheard decision so in the past this person may have been um, kind of detached emotionally from you or this person felt as though that they had to make a head over heart decision concerning you and they could have possibly cut you off in the past okay with that king of swords energy you could be dealing with an aquarius but it doesn't have to be it means that somebody who had decided to let you go in the past they have decided to make a head over heart decision and it looks like this person is now regretting that decision that they have made and they would like to come back into union with you <clears throat> what are the crowning thoughts for my dear leos nine of cups in the reverse all right what else now nine cups could talk about being smug and and overindulging alcohol or anything else like that but the nine of cups can also say that that the person that you are dealing with they're dealing with their own feelings they feel as though that they are unfulfilled in their life you know they're unfulfilled in their emotions they feel as though that something did not work out in their favor and they are left with holding all these cups in reverse meaning that they have emptied their cups out okay this person it's this nine of cups represents a wish fulfillment personal wish fulfillment that one who has everything that they need and they are content within their emotions. So it's saying with these nine of cups in reverse, you know, ten, the nine of cups in the upright talks about personal wish fulfillment, that someone sees you as wish fulfillment. But with it in the reverse, it's saying not, I'm not saying that this person is saying that they see a lack of wish fulfillment with you. I'm saying that this person has had realized that whatever choice that they made it made them personally unhappy and unfulfilled okay so that is why this energy is the way that it is right now so why is this nine of cups in reverse here <clears throat> hmm. what a crime of thoughts why is this nine of cups in reverse here Two of Swords, indecision, making choices, refusing to see something, ignoring something. So why is this Two of Swords here? Page of, of Wands and one more. Ace of Cups. Wow, this person wants a new beginning in love. Okay, see, so, so see. Crown of Thoughts. This is what this person is thinking about. This person feels as though that they made a bad decision, a bad choice. And now this person wants to reach out to you. Okay, look at this. Crown of Thoughts. Nine of Cups in the reverse. The choice that they made. They had made a decision. They had chose the wrong person. And now this person has turned their back on that other situation. And now they want to reach out to you to give you a passionate message about a new beginning in love. Ace of Cups. Okay? So this person is obviously, we already established that, they have been involved with you before, obviously. And they cut you off. They chose somebody else over you. And now this person wants to come back to you okay so it's saying that this person and like I said this is a, a general reading so this could be uh, the cross watchers reading where this cross watcher is saying that I have messed up I chose the wrong person and therefore now I'm stuck with the decision that I've made and I don't know if I can retain this person okay so it's saying that this person that you're dealing with is having uh, sadness, regret, remorse, and would like a reconciliation with you. And they feel as though that they have made a bad choice. And now they are in their head and they are feeling a lack of success and a lack of fulfillment. And they have t decided to turn their back on the past situation. And they want to reach out to you to give you a passionate communication. 
maybe talk about getting together, you know, take you out dinner, drinks, whatever the heck. And with this Ace of Cups, it's talking about this person wants to start a new cycle in a relationship with you to try to see if they can bring oneness back into uh, between you and them. And with this Ace of Cups, it's saying that this person may have chosen somebody else over you, but their heart was always with you. That this person loves you immensely, okay? And they want a new beginning in love with you. So what is about to happen for my dear Leos? Two of Cups. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it's Two of Cups, not the Lovers. I always say it's the Lovey House. I always say they love the house. <laughs> but no, it's the Two of Cups. Just, it's just almost the same. The Two of Cups talks about uh, soulmate energy, somebody that you have mutual, you both have mutual feelings for each other. But it also talks about making a decision. Uh, you've chosen somebody. And, um, this person you have very strong emotions for them a lot of love um or i said you or they what it's trying to tell me is that y'all gonna be uh coming together to sit down and have a get together and this and it looks like the the, the passion and communication is going to be opening up that that's in the crown of thoughts because this person wants to come together a meeting of the minds divine masculine and feminine Soulmate energy, the two of cups, exchanging of emotions. Okay, so why is that two of cups here? What is that two of cups here, folks? Let me know what's about to happen. <clears throat> Four of cups in reverse. Oh my gosh. This person, they said, ah gonna get with you okay we I'm, I'm right up on you i'm right, 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 right up on you and um this person they don't want to miss out on this opportunity again because with the four cups in reverse it's talking about a missed opportunity so this person is seizing the moment to offer this cup of love to you all right so what is it that this person fears Concerning my dear Leos. <clears throat> Five of Swords. Win at all costs. Manipulation and deception. So, I don't know if this person feels as though if they put themselves out there. That because of how they feel about you emotionally. That you have the upper hand and that makes them weak. So this person is afraid to be vulnerable. And I don't see this five of swords as their energy that they're trying to win at all costs. I see this person seeing you as the five of swords that you have the upper hand. And they are afraid to let you know how much of an upper hand that you have over them. Okay? So it means that they feel vulnerable right now. <clears throat> How do others that are related to the both of you, how do they see you? The tower. Oh, crap. Now, the tower can be a bad thing, but it also can be a good thing. The tower is the universe stepping in, but it opens up the opportunity for some introspection to be done and a rebuilding to begin okay you have to tear something down in order to rebuild it so what's happening with this tower why is this tower here because it could be a shake up a breakup it doesn't have to be so negative all the time we'll have to see all right eight or right, six of pentacles okay so that's what it's saying it's something that was not expected that it looks like you guys are going to be uh, equal give and take. Is the Six of Pentacles is I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Matter of fact, it, it looks like it's going to take people by surprise. 
that you know this is how how to see you that like even in spite of what has happened that the both of you maybe it's mutual people who know the both of you uh see that you're still willing to come back together even after this shake up this breakup i do believe that there was a third party energy that this person has chosen from what everything i've seen this person chose somebody else over you and they realized that they made a poor decision and now they want to come back to you and this is going to be shocking to everybody you know like that the fact that you are entertaining this okay and that's if you that's what if this is your story and that's what you choose to do leo that's what you choose to do correct right i mean it's your life you're gonna live it right so what is it that this person wishes for page of pen oh shucks i don't like when i see the page of pentacles in reverse because that's the person a nurse that's talking about somebody who's who who need who's needy. Somebody who wants somebody to love them and take care of them and act like they're their mom. Yes. Yes. So this person wants you to come in and, and to be mothering to them. Seven of Wands in a reverse. Oh, they want to wear you down. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, they're going to get all up in your feelings. They're going to they gonna come in with the what was me. They want to get to your emotional side to make your mothering side kick in to where you feel like you got to step in and save them even though they were an asshole. Mm -hmm. That's what it's saying to me. So what's going to be the outcome? They want, they want you to let down your guard. Let down your guard and your defenses and, you know, give in to them and see them as the poor little helpless creature that they are. That they need you to come and save mama me because they her bubbles. Mm -hmm. What is the outcome? They want you to feel sad for them and want to take care of them. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Pentacles and the Chariot in the reverse and the Four Swords. Okay, it's saying that in order for this to work, this gonna—I mean, it's gonna take a lot of work to turn this around. They, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. There's gonna be some delays, some issues because I got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, the Chariot in reverse, and the Four Swords. You know, you're going to come back around to each other, but this is going to take some work. It's not something that's going to go ahead all easy, like that never happened. No, it's going to take a lot of work, a lot of work in order to repair the damage in this relationship. Because it's saying that, that there's a lack, there was a, a false start or <laughs> a, 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 un, it, this was unhealthy. You know, the uh, the harvest, uh, the Seven of Pentacles talks about a, a fruitful harvest. And it's saying that even though you have time together and, you know, you have a history, it's like that history is not enough. In order to get a healthy relationship, it's going to require a whole lot of work to be put in and that you're going to be experiencing a lot of delays. But the fact that you both are showing up and trying, I mean, it's like you can't pretend like nothing happened. I'm just looking at this emperor in the reverse. Be careful so that you will not open yourself up to manipulation, okay? So it's saying that uh, that if you are to come back together, just because I saw the emperor as being the next, the emperor, the nine of swords, and the world card. So this is what I'm saying to you. I just pulled those just to look at them. Um, that you cannot allow yourself to be taken for a fool. Uh, if you're going to do this, it has to be something that, that is fresh and new. And I know it's hard to have fresh and new after you have history together. But it's saying not to allow yourself to be a victim in this situation. And that is what this person is afraid of because you truly have the upper hand. So if they want you back in their life, you have the upper hand. And that means that you cannot allow this person to manipulate you to control your feelings to cause you to have restless nights again and then <clears throat> to start this this new new uh 
new cycle off on a negative note. Got the four of wands after that. That's good. But uh, call them on your shit. Don't allow, if you're going to let them back in your life, don't allow them to manipulate you. Call them on their shit. All right? Now, I'm going <clears> to <throat> pull some more advice cards and I'm going to go to Romance Angels. So, win at all costs or win or lose that's the five of swords in the reverse four of wands seven of cups the emperor and darkest verse okay apologies 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 time for joy and stability uh seven of cups daydream and decision uh I'm asking you to be realistic about your expectations in this relationship. Take uh, the lead. That's the emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. Um, <clears throat> that means to uh, take responsibility, take control over the situation. You have you have everything you need in order to do that uh, the, between the both of you. And the darkest fears are in reverse, so that's good. So that's saying putting all those things behind you, Okay. But also, it's time to take the lead. What I told you, do not allow this person to come in trying to manipulate you because you actually have the upper hand. But at the same time, this is that they know that you have all this control. And it depends on how you react that this will um, be this deciding factor uh, for how this will proceed. That's if you choose to take this person back into your life because after all this person did in fact betray you and they chose somebody else over you. So now this person's kind of coming back on bending knee and they don't want to let you truly know how much power you have over them. But I'm saying that you own a lot of, you own the power in this reconciliation. It's all up to you. And this person is sorry. They would like to apologize. They realize that they messed up. That, you know, they try to manipulate and be sneaky with you. And they ended up hurting you and them at the same time. And now they just want to return to you to start over. To bring joy and stability in this relationship. But at the same time with the Seven of Cups, the same. Get out of daydream land. Got to get clear about things. Take the lead. Don't be allowing yourself to be run over. Okay? Free yourself. It is time to take back control over your life. That's the lead. One more. Oh, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Well, you already apart from him. Maybe it is just the other person. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, so I'm like, okay, what the hell is this saying? I'm going to peek, I'm going to peek, I'm going to Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring romance. Okay, so with that separation, I believe it's talking about the energy that this person left somebody behind. Only thing is, okay, if they just recently left somebody behind, I don't think you should be so quick to invite this person back into your life. Because if you do that, that means that they are rebounding with you. And you don't want a relationship that's a rebound relationship. You want a relationship where you get to start over and as we have seen with the difficulties within this reading that it's not going to be no easy win okay it's going to be something that requires a lot of work but it's also going to be something that requires forgiveness okay so it says stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so and it says free yourself it is time for you to take control of your life and give this and give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so if you choose to take this person back into your life, those are the things that you're going to have to focus on. So that's my reading for you, my dear Leos. Thank you for joining me. And I appreciate you all for sticking in there for this reading. And I would like to see you all again back in the next reading. As I always say, peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. And I'll see you in the next reading. Peace and so much love. Thank you and goodbye.